Hi and welcome to the Sony instructional video brought to you by ETV. Today we're going to show you how to set up, use, and adjust a high definition Sony video camera which you can rent from Elon Television. You will need your Sony camera kit, a Sony battery, and an external memory card also known as an SD card. The first thing that you will need to do is remove your camera from the camera bag. Great, now we're going to show you how to carefully insert the battery into your camera. Open the LCD screen, slide the battery door towards you, open it up, and grab that battery. Make sure the ridges line up with the tracks. Close the battery door, and there you go. Now you've got power. On the back right panel, push in the green power button and slide it up, and now your camera's on. Now we're going to show you what you need to know about the back panel. This area right here. Slide the middle switch up to unlock and open the memory card slot. Gently insert the SD card face up, and make sure to lock it back up when you're done. Now before we go any further, you're going to want to open the shutter. This allows your camera to capture light. In order to make adjustments, make sure your camera is in manual mode. That's it for the back panel. Now we're going to focus on the LCD touchscreen, this thing right here. Now let's learn our way around it. Press the menu button in the top left hand corner of the touchscreen. Select the record slash media set option on the menu. And here you can choose from the following four options. HD SD, media select, recording mode, and frame rate. Chances are your camera is going to be preset to record to internal memory. So go ahead and push media select, then choose memory card. This allows you to record straight to your SD card. With the camera in manual mode, select menu and go to the camera slash audio screen. Here you can select from the following most used options such as focus, white balance, iris, gain, and shutter speed. Underneath the battery slot, the display button toggles on and off the menu items on the LCD screen. This allows you to remove your menu settings so they don't clutter your view. Okay, so let's take a closer look at those buttons on the bottom left side of your camera. For additional manual settings, you can use these buttons underneath the LCD screen to adjust iris and focus, like this. Underneath the battery door, there's a playback button. Press it. This allows you to play back any clips that you have saved on a memory device. If you want to copy or delete any clips while in playback mode, select Menu, then Edit slash Copy. From there, you can move clips from one memory device to another or delete them completely. The next feature we're going to discuss is the aperture ring, located at the front of your camera. On the dial on the left side, you can choose from the options of zoom, focus, or iris. Once selected, you can adjust these settings as needed by rotating the wheel on the aperture ring. Finally, we will be discussing the audio panel, located at the top of your camera. Start by flipping open the plastic cover on the panel. From here, we will work from left to right. Starting on the left, the channel select switch toggles between using one or both channels of audio. Moving to the top of the panel, more often than not, you are going to want to have your attenuation set to zero decibels and your microphone input set to mic plus 48V, although this can vary in situations in which you have a lot of background noise. Make sure you do this for both channels. Now on the bottom of the panel, you can use the dials to manually adjust the sensitivity of each input, but in most cases, you can just leave these settings on auto. Lastly, on the right side, you can toggle the low-cut filter on each channel to eliminate the highest frequencies while recording. That should be all you need to know for audio, but if you want to check your settings, you can plug in some headphones. Thanks for hanging out with us today. We hope you learned something. Good luck with your shoot.